We chanced upon it really. We used to talk a lot about having land one day that we could share with people. So we always thought maybe one day, but not at the time when we found Eagle Hammer. We just saw it for sale and thought, hmm, I wonder what that's like. They're all my favourite for different reasons, but Eagle's Reach is the smaller of the three, but it's a place where every time I walk in, I think I could just hide in here. And, and in fact, that's the first one I saw when we looked at the property and that amazing vista of trees out the front of it, I just fell in love. And the previous owner had started a small African theme, so I've continued on that, being a bit of a lover of Africa. And I think it sort of suits it because it's, it just feels like it's really amongst the trees and really in the bush. So Eagle's Reach is, yeah, smaller studio style. Still has the spa and the wood fire and the small kitchenette, but it's got the biggest balcony in the place. And I love the sense of forest that you get. If you came in here, you can sit out there all day if you wished. You wouldn't need to be inside, although in winter you probably would want to be in front of the fire. You could be anywhere in the world, but actually you're here in the Dandenongs. So Eagle's View is the larger of the two open sort of studio style, open plan. It's got the lovely four poster bed, a novelty for, for many people, often referred to as the princess bed. It has a very open plan environment, it's a great space to spread out, a nice kitchen diner and also a lovely big sofa and the fireplace and then the spa setting in the three windows. Often I refer to it as the spa setting from heaven and a lovely balcony with more of a bush view. I have this little special that I sometimes do for people that I call sit, sip and dip. So sit on the balcony, sip on some sparkling or some red wine or white wine, whatever is your thing and dip your strawberries into some cream. So when you arrive in Eagle's Nest, it is over three levels, which makes it quite different and probably out of the, all of the cottages gets the most wow when people move in because it, it's a really interesting space. It's got the cathedral ceilings upstairs in the mezzanine, which is the bedroom area, and the window in the bedroom area looks out to the treetops and it just has this fabulous vista. The bathroom and the spa is on the middle level with this gorgeous skylight above the spa and an open plan at the right side of the spa, which gives it an outlook. And then downstairs into the living area, which is just a, has the great view of the, the forest and also the water. So upstairs you're seeing the treetops and at the lower level you're seeing them through the forest floor and the small pond out the front. And it looks particularly fantastic with the candles lit because you're seeing candles at different levels. Well, they're all beautiful when, when the candle fairy's been in. I go in there with little lighters to light the candles for the brides and grooms before they get back from their wedding. And so they come into opening the door to candles, just adding that lovely atmosphere for somewhere nice after such a big day. But it is worth it. People don't intend to get married too many times in their life. And to make their, their wedding night even more special is one of the joys of this job. One of the things that I feel is really important in life is nurturing relationships. Relationships with ourselves and relationships with our partners. One of the ways that that can happen, that extra nurturing, is by taking short breaks. You don't have to take a long trip to Europe to just rekindle and, and re-communicate and reconnect. I think a place like this just gives people a chance to experience something different and also to communicate, talk, enjoy watching the swaying of the trees, listening to the birds and the frogs, enjoy something different. <laughs>